All right. Well, I think we're ready for our last half, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, Mr. Palencia, have at it.
Thank you for all the hard work. And uh, the Lancaster Baptist School Orchestra, joined by members of the Lancaster Baptist Church Orchestra and West Coast Baptist College. Let's thank them again for their hard work. There's a reason we were sitting out there and they were sitting up here, and it has to do with hours and hours and hours of preparation and talent, uh, actually, uh, is another reason. And uh, so we're thankful for the talent that God has given and for the hours and hours of preparation that has gone into making this a special night for all of us. I want to make sure you mark your calendar for three weeks from this weekend. 
when we will celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we will do this once again with some absolutely fantastic music from our orchestras and from a 250-voice choir. And we will hear the gospel presented also by a full drama cast. And I want to make sure you not only mark your calendar, as many of you have, but also that you invite a guest. And there will be brochures provided this weekend in our services that you can use to invite a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, or a relative to come here in song and with beautiful music, the message of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. So we want to make sure you have that on your heart and mind and on your calendar. I was asked to give some biblical perspective on the music we've enjoyed tonight, and I want to read to you from the 150th Psalm. You know, music is a gift from God. Music was God's idea, not man's idea. And music was a gift uh, to be enjoyed by mankind. And music also is a tool to be used by mankind. The 150th Psalm says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Can't get him on cue. <laughs> Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him <laughs> upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything, here's the rest of us, let everything that hath breath Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. This psalm goes back to why we exist. We're here to know God, to enjoy God, and to glorify God with our lives. Praise him. Praise him. Like a thoroughbred was created for racing, like an eagle was created for flying, mankind has been created to praise, to glorify, to honor, and to enjoy his creator God. If a, a thoroughbred isn't running or if a uh, eagle isn't flying, something's wrong. And in our lives, if you don't know God, if you're not enjoying God, and if you're not glorifying God and praising him as this psalm has said, uh, there's something wrong. There's something missing. For those who don't know the Lord, the fact may be they have never come into a relationship personally with the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. And I know that the heart of every member of this orchestra tonight is that each person who enjoyed the music would also enjoy a relationship for time and eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. These are not just musicians. These are people who know the Lord, who serve the Lord, and who long and pray that others would know and love the Lord that they love. The problem that prevents us and that blocks us from enjoying and glorifying and knowing God is the problem of sin. It's as old as the human race, and every generation has chosen to place ourselves at odds with God through a bent toward our own way and not after him. And yet the Bible says that he has devised means that those banished could be brought back to him. Romans 5.8 says, But God commended or demonstrated his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And so reconciliation with God is possible. Praising God is possible. Enjoying Him, honoring Him, glorifying Him, and knowing Him is possible. If you're not enjoying the Lord, maybe you know Him as your Savior, but there's not a joy in your relationship with Him. Do whatever you need to do to get it back. If it's sin that needs to be confessed, if it's a devotional walk that needs to be developed, do whatever you need to do to get it back. Because this is why we were here. It's on every page of the scripture. And it finishes the great songbook of the Old Testament by saying, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. If you uh, have never received Christ as your Savior, I hope you'll talk to one of us tonight. There are dozens of people here tonight who would be happy to just step aside and to chat about what it means to personally receive Jesus Christ by faith as your Savior. It's a personal, once-in-a-lifetime decision that every person must make if they will know the Lord and enjoy heaven with Him. Just about any member of this orchestra would be happy to talk to someone if you're their invited guest. 
So if you know a member of this orchestra, but you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you ought to take care of that. If you have an appreciation for music, but you don't have the assurance that you would have a home in heaven forever with God, you ought to take care of that. The Bible says, praise ye the Lord. Why don't we praise him right now and ask him to bless our lives and the lives of those who need him and to and help us to be right with him and allow our lives to be all that they should be in our relationship with him. Father, we thank you for the joy of knowing you. And for those of us who's ex who've experienced what it means to be forgiven for all of our sin, to have it all removed and cleansed and washed away, and to know that we are once again and for the first time ever right with you, secure in you, and in a relationship with you, it is a joy. We thank you for sending your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who would go to the cross and sacrifice himself there for us. I pray that not one of us in this room would be made aware of that gift and that love and not respond in faith by receiving you as Savior. There may be some in this room who know about you or who know of you or who have even talked with you, but they have never been born again. They have never done what the Bible says, receive the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that that decision will be made by folks tonight or in the days ahead who've heard the music tonight. I pray that as we move into the resurrection season, as we celebrate the days ahead and as we think of your coming and of your sacrifice and of your power and conquering over death, I pray that you would use our church, not only the musicians, not only the singers, but I pray that you'd use each and every one of us Use us to invite neighbors to hear the gospel and to speak to coworkers about Jesus Christ and to share your love with relatives and friends. Help our pastor as he opens the Bible to be filled and empowered by your Holy Spirit so that the saving message of reconciliation through Jesus Christ can be shared with all of those who need it. Bless these lives as those who have devoted their time and energy to preparing for tonight have done this, I pray that you would reward them and I pray that they would experience your hand of blessing on their lives. And I pray for those of us who gathered that you'd meet the needs represented in this room. I pray that you'd meet the health needs that exist in this crowd and the financial needs, the employment needs and the personal needs that exist in the lives of each family. And we thank you that we can know that you hear and answer our prayers. We praise you for this and we seek and desire to glorify you with our lives. We acknowledge that is our intent. Your word says that you have created all things, and they were created for your pleasure. We desire to bring you glory, the glory that you're worthy of. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to ask our school administrator, Brother Rick Houck, to come and share our closing announcements.